Hi, I'm Leslie Canarium, Reader Conversations Librarian at the Rogers Public Library, and I'm here with the October Take It, Make It Project for Adults. This uh, month, we're doing something that's really more of a technique than a, a project. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to use ordinary sandpaper and crayons to make iron-on transfers so you'll never have to buy those fancy iron-on uh, transfer papers again. In your kit, you're going to get a plain white ba cotton bandana, which you can use for this project. You can also use uh, t-shirts, scarves, uh, canvas totes, anything that you've got of your own. The project I'm working on, I already started doing a little bit on it. So your, your cloth is going to be plain white. So what you're going to get is a piece of sandpaper. This is very coarse sandpaper. Uh, if you do this yourself, you could use finer sandpaper. But I really like the texture that the coarse uh, sandpaper gives it. Your piece is going to be bigger than this. I already cut several pieces off of this. And you're going to get a bunch of crayons. If you've got more crayons at home, you can certainly use them. There's nothing special about these crayons. And you're just going to draw on the sandpaper. Because it's pumpkin spice month, I decided to go ahead and make sort of a fall motif for my project. Simple shapes repeated will look great. I saw some with hearts, with different colored stars, with rainbows. You could get ideas out of some of our craft books, or you could look at your uh, favorite picture books. We often have very simple designs that you can recreate with crayons. This is not a project for fancy details. The important thing is to use a lot of crayon. And I'm just making one here, but I'm actually use this same design three different times because you can, can repeat it. Then what you're going to need is your iron. I've got this already preheated to the highest setting. Please, if you're doing this with little ones, irons are hot. They will burn you. Then you need your ironing board. I'm using a plain silicon cutting board here. And I've got my, my bandana. I'm just coloring half the bandana here. You can see I've already got a design on it. Just a really basic pumpkin and some vines. And I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to put it where I want, right there. You don't have to do this step, but if you want to absolutely make sure that your iron is protected, just get some parchment paper and put it over the sandpaper. And we're going to iron, pressing down. And you want about eh, 30 seconds. Just keep moving it. Okay, that's good. That should do it. And oh my goodness, there it is, my little flower. And just to show you how easy it is to reuse the pattern, I'm gonna uh, take that same thing and I'm gonna recolor it and I'm gonna use, even use slightly different colors on it. I'm gonna make it a little lighter this time. Remember to color nice and thick. You want that wax to transfer through. And let's put that right there. And you can see with the coarse sandpaper, by the way, how it makes that nice spotty uh, texture there. Finer sandpaper will give you cleaner lines, but you still don't want to do anything too detailed because, you know, crayon, the wax is going to melt. Thirty seconds later, oh, there's another flower. Okay, let's do one more, just for fun. Okay, put this where we want it. And there, cute little design. Note that if I had wanted to draw flowers or other shapes and scatter them across the whole bandana, I could have filled the colors in, cut them out, and 
place them wherever I wanted. That's really hard on your scissors though, so don't use your good sewing scissors for that. When you're finished with all the design you want, you're just gonna take an ordinary paper towel, place it on top, and you want to iron just about 10, 15 seconds. And this will set your design and absorb any excess crayon wax. When you go to wash your t-shirt or bandana or whatever, it won't bleed through onto the other clothes. Yeah, you can see how it picks up a little bit of extra right there. And really, that's it. Now that I'm done with my project, I'm going to want to uh, take it to the laundry room and toss it in the dryer on low for yeah, 20 minutes or so. That will also help set it. And after that, uh, it's perfectly washable on cold water, gentle cycle. I do it by itself for the first time through, but other than that, you can put it in the washer, you can put it in the dryer, nice little bandana, you can tie it on your bag or whatever. And that's really it. And I hope that this is a technique that's useful to you and you have fun with it, using it a lot in the future. Next month, we'll be doing something a little more elaborate that will take a little more patience. We're gonna be making paper beads into a bracelet, but for October, we're done. <laughs>